just notice that you will have that complex collision as simple by default, and it can be quite heavy. So let me change this thing. Project default, okay, and now you don't have it. All right, so let's move on. We have the poly model and the triangle model. And to show this, I'm gonna start with a triangle model. So I'm gonna create a cube here. Okay, complete. And what you have here, it's a bunch of operations where you can select different triangles. And that triangle model only affects triangles. So if I click here, you will see that I can select one face. And notice that my selection mode is select on brush. I can change this, like for example, uh, all connected. I can click on this and all my connected vertices will be updated. I can shift click to remove it. I can hold the mouse left mouse button to select multiple faces. And I can do a bunch of operations with this. For example, I can click this one. And notice if I click and I don't press anything, I will keep adding. What I can do is clear my selection. I can also select all, clear it, invert my selection, grow my selection, so if I have a polygon here, grow, it will go to my neighbors and it will grow the selection. I can also shrink the selection and make it smaller and smaller. You can also expand to connect it and some other ones like the optimized selection will optimize the selection. Maybe I can show a sphere, will be much better. Is this, just select a bunch of those. Optimize selection, it will kind of Try to smooth out the selection so it can look nicer. Okay. Um, then you have other things like the delete triangles. You can either click here or you can click the delete with the space bar. You can separate triangles, which will create a different object. If I go here, you will see I have another mesh here, which is my new object created. Keep that in mind. So I can, let me, let me control C a little bit. Okay. I can also disconnect triangles, which is not the same. It will disconnect the triangles and they are not connected, but they are part of the same object. So for example, if I select and expand to connect it, I will expand my connection to all the vertices that are connected, but these ones are not connected. Okay. I can also flip the normals. Okay, so I can see it from this angle. Flip the normals again. If I click this, expand connected, flip normals, I can go back to normal. And I can also create a polygroup. So what is a polygroup? A polygroup is a selection you create so that it can be easier to modify objects. For example, I can create a polygroup here, click accept, and when I go to my poly deformation, you will see I have the option to select my polygroups and do a bunch of operations like a extrude and things like that, instead of selecting the triangles and extrude everything. This is especially useful when you want to modify objects like this. Uh, you go to triangle selection, select this one, and then let's check again. Okay, so change the size here. So like you want to select the triangles and 
you know, it's not very useful when you have a bunch of uh, very heavy meshes. That's why we create a polygroup so that if we create a polygroup, let's say I want to create a polygroup here for my maybe for my eyes. Maybe all connected. Maybe maybe just this one. Or I can just choose this part. So this is my polygroup. Create polygroup, click accept. And you will see that my polygroup has been created. And here I can select my polygroup and just move it, scale it, or do a bunch of operations like the extrude and things like that. Okay. Very nice. And Donovan asks, um, can you create your own character with these tools? Well, technically it's possible, but then you will need to rig it. But I wouldn't recommend using these ones for modeling a character. Uh, I personally use these ones for prototyping, blocking out the level, and also modifying objects that from mega scans or something just to make it a little bit different. So I wouldn't create a character using this. But who knows, maybe Epic surprise us in the future. They always they always do when they update the tools and it's like amazing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So going on with the triangle model tools, you can let's go to our polygon deformation. Uh Keep using this one as an example. Maybe this one. You can loop insert. This will insert a loop like this. It will go along all the axes. Can select a loop like this. For those familiar with sub D modeling, this is how you add edges. You can click accept. And nothing has happened, but if I go to my polygon deformation, I can go to my polygroups. And now everything is a polygroup, so I can just poly edit and just click here. And I can start modifying this thing. Like I can, I can go here and then click extrude oops let's do it again poly edit here extrude you can extrude like this or you can offset which is like a extrude with a scale you can scale like this also now be aware of the size of this uh, if it's too small or too big it may have problem with the gizmo so just poly edit. And you can do a bunch of operations here. You can inset. Let's just choose another one here. Poly edit here. Inset. You can see I can dynamically change my inset. Click OK. And now I can extrude maybe negatively or I can just click accept and then go to my triangle edit click here and then let's go to more options here or go to my polygroups and then just just go down or or extrude, things like that. So this is very useful. Another thing you can do is the edge insert. So if I click here, I can just draw the edge where I want. I can just click where I want to connect those edges. 
and then I can go to my poly edit and I can just click on click on those and then just move it a little bit okay so that's as far as the modeling tools let's create a small pillar so we can check the booleans uh, applying what we have learned so far there is a question um, and it, well it has to do with the creation of, of the assets it says hi in create mode when i want to draw a shape and extrude and i want to rotate the grid plane how can i do it precisely the angle snapping feature doesn't seem to work <laughs> 